Hello there. I'm Sharon and I'm here to give you a health tip. Today we're talking about air. And I'm talking about the negative ions. Negative ions that you get in fresh, pure air that you'll get in mountain areas or by the ocean. It's very essential for us. What does it do for us? It soothes the nerves. It relaxes us calms us, you know, when we're under a lot of stress. It cleanses our, bra our blood so that our blood can be light and bright. I always say this, blood, when it is thick and dark, that's a symptom that your blood is dirty and illness is on its way. But fresh, clean air full of negative ions can cleanse the blood and make it light and bright so that it circulates much more easier. But there's other ways that you can actually get negative ions onto your, in, onto your uh, respiratory system. How do you do that? After a thunderstorm in the city, like um, after a great storm, it would be good for you to just go out and go jogging or go for a nice brisk walk. That way you breathe in all the negative ions that were created by the lightning flashing. What other ways can you employ? Well, you know, in summer, early in the morning, when on the grass there's a lot of dew, I've learned that if you take off your shoes and you walk in that grass deliberately pulling, dragging your feet, that friction with the water and the air creates the negative ions, then you can breathe them in. So find a way of exercising on the grass, then you'll be getting a lot of negative ions into your, into your body. Christ said to his disciples, come, as, come here aside with me and rest for a while. And he would often go to the Mount of Olives. He would take them to a mountain. Not only were there benefits in the mountain that you could pray quietly, but even in the mountain, you would get fresh air. And fresh air also clarifies your mind so that you're able to focus and think clearly. So today I'm encouraging you, get out there and get some negative ions. May God bless you. See you next time.